Hey chatters, in this video, I'm gonna help you build your own business consultant with the help of some context engineering and creating a GPT gem or project in Claude, whichever provider you use. Before we get started, I just wanna talk about the importance of context engineering. The idea here is you wanna give your GPT, your bot, whatever, the context it needs to be most effective. Typically, it's just gonna be your business information in a compact, concise way, so that you don't have to keep feeding it that information every single time. To do that, if we come to our prompt library, which you can find at prompts.synapticlabs.ai, up top here, we have our context engineer prompt, which is gonna help you build this context block to use for our prompts. So if I click into here, it's gonna come up with everything you need, you can obviously copy this and put it in whatever platform you want to create the context block, but it's easiest if you just hit this use button. Welcome to our context engineering GPT. We're just going to hit this start button to get started. So before coming to this, I would definitely gather some information, whatever documents you have that would be helpful. Make sure you have your website on hand. We're going to want to feed all of that in here to give it the information it needs. So I've attached some files here that I have about Synaptic Labs. I've answered the questions that it's asked me. So I'm going to hit enter. You might want to go into more detail, obviously, but this is a good start. So it's filled out a lot of good information. It's going to ask me a few more questions. So anything missing? Would you like this to be neutral, friendly, expressive, tagline or elevator pitch? So I'm going to say one. Our tone and personality is approachable and practical. Use web search to look at our websites. So I've just answered its questions. It didn't actually go and search for our website, so I told it to actually go and do that. And now it's creating our context block. So the way an output here might be good for you, I typically like to tell it to output in a code block so that it's easy to copy. So you can see here, we have a nice little markdown formatted code block. So I'm just gonna hit this copy button and you wanna save this somewhere that it's easier for you to find and add to whatever prompts you want. So we have our context block. Now we're gonna wanna incorporate that into our business orchestrator agent. Before we do that, though, I want to tell you a little bit about Synaptic Labs AI readiness assessment. So let's head over and do that for a minute. Is your business ready for the AI wave? Find out in just three to five minutes with Synaptic Labs' AI readiness assessment. Our quick questionnaire analyzes your current AI capabilities and delivers a personalized roadmap for integration success. Plus, complete the assessment and receive a coupon for any of our premium AI-enhanced workflows, absolutely free. Don't get left behind. Discover your AI readiness today at ai-readiness.synapticlabs.ai. So the next thing you want to do is head back to our prompt library. Again, that's prompts.synapticlabs.ai. And you want to find this business orchestrator prompt. Let's open up that. And you're going to find, again, if you want, you can hit this use button and it'll take you to our general GPT. The problem with that one, right, is that it's not going to have all that context that we just created. So we actually want to create our own GPT with that context so we don't have to keep copying and pasting and going back and forth. So let's just hit this copy button right here. And then we're going to head over to wherever you save that context block to put this all together. So here we are, you see I have my context block saved. So I'm just gonna scroll all the way down and I'm gonna paste this in. And I'm just gonna come up here, I'm just gonna remove this context section since we don't really need it anymore, right? Cause we made our own and then keep the rest of the prompt exactly the same, okay? And now we're gonna go and actually incorporate this into your LLM provider of choice. So feel free to skip forward to whatever LLM provider you use. We're going to go through ChatGPT, Google, and Claude in terms of how to upload this. First up, we'll stick with ChatGPT, I guess. 
how you create a GPT is you want to open up this sidebar. You want to go to GPTs, and then you want to go to create GPT. You'll see something like this. So first we want to name it. So we're going to call it the Synaptic Labs Business Orchestrator. Orchestrates Synaptic Labs Business. And then we're just going to plop that prompt that we created right in there. Again, ensuring that you have the context up here. And then you can do a conversation starter if you want. You don't necessarily need to. You want to upload any files, again, that you think that would be helpful and that aren't contained in the context block. And then you can choose whatever model that you want it to use. 4.1 is probably going to be okay. I would recommend 4.5. I wouldn't do any of the thinking models, these ones that have O before them. Just doesn't work super well, so we're just going to go for 4.1 for now. And then turn on all the capabilities you want. I would just do all of them for now. There's no real reason to not do all of them. And then if you want, you can create a little image, either upload one or we'll just use Dolly to create one for now. And then when you're done, we're going to hit create. And then pick whatever you want, probably anyone with a link. Maybe only me, but if you're with a team, you probably want to share. But we'll just do anyone with a link for now. And there we go. We have our GPT that you can talk to. So that's how you set this up in ChatGPT. Let's head over to Google and set that up. Here we are in Google. To make bots in Google, they're called gems. To get to them, you want to bring up your menu, just like we did in ChatGPT. We do Explore Gems. You want to go over to New Gem. And again, we'll give it a name. We'll stick our instructions in. Again, you can add a knowledge base. No need, you can't choose a model or anything like that. And then when you're ready, you can hit the gem save button. You'll see something like this pop up. We'll just say start. And then here you go on the side here, you're gonna see your gems and then you can talk to it and then just make sure you choose whatever model you want. I think flash is gonna be fine for most things, but you can test out pro. That'll give it thinking. It's pretty good. To set up your business orchestrator in Claude, we're going to want to go to the sidebar right here. You're going to want to go to Projects, New Project. And again, we'll name it Synaptic Labs Strader. You can create a description if you want, but you don't need to. And we'll create Project. And then you want to come to over here where it says the project knowledge and where it says these system instructions, we're going to click that. And then this is where we're going to copy and paste our prompt. We'll do save. And then here you have it. You can talk to this project, which has this prompt. And again, you might want to upload some files here just to give it additional context. Okay. Now we've set up our business orchestrator. How do we actually use it? So I'm going to show you an example. We're going to switch over to Google for now, just because we've been in ChatGPT this whole time. And I'm just going to have it come up with some social media posts for me that are going to advertise our prompt library that I was showing you. So the first thing it's going to do is it's going to show up as the business orchestrator with this emoji, and it's going to ask us a few questions. So let's answer those, and then we're going to see what happens. Okay, so I finished answering the questions, and you can see here, We've added a nice little agent into the mix. So the way this works is that we have our orchestrator and then it's going to call up an expert in whatever you're asking it to do following a specific pattern we've defined in the prompt. So you can see here it's filled out like, okay, these are what we're focusing on. This is what we want to do. Here are some frameworks that are established in the space that we can follow. And so now it's going to go through the process of working through helping me develop these social media posts. So we go through the process, we answer the questions. If it's asking too many questions, feel free to just say skip this or you make it up or just do it. That's totally fine. But the idea here is you're not gonna need necessarily a specific prompt for every single little thing. You still might want those prompts where it's just a quick little task and output that you need where you can create that context block, which we do for a lot of the prompts in our prompt library for a specific task. But this is your sort of generalized, I don't want to think about creating a prompt for something. I just wanted to ask me and interview me the questions that it needs. It has the context of my business and then it will output what I need from it. So here you can see 
It's created a bunch of posts as well as the images, an image prompt that we can use to go along with the posts.